also today at four. Local students leading a discussion tonight on a pretty serious issue that victimizes children and teenagers. We're talking about child exploitation and sex trafficking. Going beyond the headlines tonight, we wanted to know what can be done in our area to protect kids. Our Amy Frazier has more from Madison High School, where a student-led forum is happening tonight. 10th graders here at Madison High School are actually focusing on child exploitation and sex trafficking in the classroom this year. It's part of a pilot program that focuses on prevention. I ended up getting introduced that night. I was crying because I was scared. The director of this film called Playground, the child sex trade in America. I mean, I would characterize it as a, as a really big problem. Tells me she wanted to do more in the Portland area after filming a lot of the documentary here. And I think one of the biggest gaps has been in the area of prevention and just getting to kids before it happens. I mean, that is ideal. Libby Spears started the Ness Foundation, which has developed curriculum that teaches students about the scope and prevalence of sex trafficking. Well, they are coming in contact with is things like sexting and you know being on Snapchat and all these new apps and I don't think they're realizing it much that uh, they're putting themselves at risk for things like trafficking. The pilot program is part of 10th grade health at Madison High School. It's also being tried out at David Douglas High School. The program teaches that any child can become a victim. So the big thing is to change that stigma. These are not bad kids or troubled kids. These are kids that are being manipulated. Organizers say prevention means giving teens tools to recognize grooming by an abuser at a time in their lives when many teens feel self-conscious or uncertain. And perpetrators know that. They're really, really savvy and they'll find a, a, a weak spot and they'll, they'll maybe start complimenting, you know, a, a girl on the way she looks or, you know, tell her that, that he understands when nobody else may. As an extension of this curriculum, students leading a forum tonight will have the chance to talk about their concerns with adults, including police, a lawmaker, and a district attorney. And so I think it's critical that we hear from the youth because those are the people we're trying to protect them. So if we're, you know, we need to listen to them in order to be more effective at our jobs. Tonight's student-led forum at Madison High School is open to the public. It runs from 6 until 8 tonight. Reporting in Northeast Portland, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News.